Hello and welcome to the John Cast, the podcast for cool and smart kids. This is your oasis from homework, vegetables, and your parents. Welcome to the guide to being cool. If you want to learn how to be cool, you have come to the right place. I shall teach you the secrets of being cool. Cool kids always have a posse to follow them around. But the posse is actually for protection from people who are jealous of your coolness. Plus, posses make you look even cooler. Right, girls? Yeah! The second step to being cool is your clothes. You need bell-bottom shoes, um, jeans in order to be cool. They used to wear them in the 80s. They were cool then, and they're still cool now. Your shirt has to be a dark color. It can have words on it, but make sure it's a dark color. Cool kids wear sunglasses. And they wear baseball hats backwards. And finally, the third fundamental step of being cool is to talk like you're cool, to walk like you're cool, to act like you're cool, to believe you're cool. If you call yourself cool, then you are cool. Being cool is as simple as that. Well, I hope you're a cooler person by listening to this. Now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Hello, and welcome to the eighth episode of the Johncast. Boy, I have an exciting show planned for you guys today. Let's jump right into it. Here's a cool tip on how to maximize your dessert intake. So, whenever you go out for ice cream, Try and pick something that you like, but your parents or your siblings don't like. That way they won't take a bite out of it. This works great for my dad. Just um, last week, we went to this great ice cream place, and instead of getting something like cookie dough that my, that my dad will like, take a huge bite of, I got cherry, which he wouldn't even touch. It was pretty good, too. It's viewer question time. You've got mail. Hi, John, this is Leah from New York. What's your least favorite song and why? Well, Leah, my least favorite song is the song Naughty from the from Matilda the Musical. Why, you ask? Well, when you hear a song 24-7 for every day of your life, you start to hate it a little bit. You've got mail. Hi, John. This is Alex from New York, and I'm a mom. You keep telling kids not to eat vegetables. My question is this. How do you get kids to eat vegetables? Thanks. Well, Miss Alex, I covered this in episode seven of the Johncast in my vegetable deception segment. I was talking about how parents are always sneaking vegetables into spaghetti sauce and meatballs and sneaky stuff like that. Um, by the way, wh- why do you want to feed your kids vegetables anyway? What did they do wrong? Hello and welcome to the John Cast Game Show. Let me introduce our first contestant, Tyler Ryan. So Tyler here is new on the John Cast Game Show, so he doesn't know how to play. Yo. So basically, Tyler, here's what you do. You pick a category, jokes, riddles, or trivia, and I'll ask you a question from them. If you get it right, you win a point. And if you get three points, you win the grand prize! But if you don't get three points at the end of the game, you get the grand punishment! So Tyler, are you excited for the John Cast Game Show? Go. Yes, I am. Great, now choose a category from jokes, riddles, or trivia. I will pick trivia. All right. Your first question is, all right, Tyler, how many times can a dollar bill be folded before it tears? Um, I will say 
about 3,000 times. Sorry, Tyler. It takes 4,000 times before it'll tear. Choose your next category. I will choose riddles. All right, Tyler. What has a head, a tail, is brown, and has no legs? Um, I know coins don't, coins have head and a tail, and a penny is the only one that is brown. I will say a penny. Correct. So far, you have one point. Now for the third category, jokes. Tyler, what is the difference between cauliflower and snot? Um, cauliflower is a type of food and snot is not. Sorry, but you're wrong. Kids will eat snot. Let's move on to trivia. When was the first email sent? 1971. Correct! And finally, we shall do one more joke. And now, the final question that will determine whether you get the prize or the punishment. What do, what do you get when you cross a collie and a pit bull? You get knocked over. Sorry, but you are incorrect. The correct answer was a dog that bites off your face and then runs for help. But since you're our first contestant and you almost made it, you get a consolation prize instead of the grand punishment. So, phew. The consolation prize is a day off from school. Yay! But it has to be on a Sunday. What? That's game show business for you. <laughs> well, guys, that's all. Thanks for listening to the Johncast. Remember, the green fruit loop counts as a vegetable. Rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes. And see you next Monday.